Number 15, the two vectors A and B in this figure over here have equal magnitudes 10 meters and the angles are theta 1 equals to 30 degrees and theta 2 equals to 105 degrees. Find the x and y components of their vector sum r. Uh, let her see the magnitude of r and let her d the angle r makes with the positive direction of our x-axis. So we want to find vector r, which is the sum of vector a plus vector b. So we have to find vector a and vector b in unit vector notation. So vector a is equal to the x component of vector a in the i direction plus the y component of vector a in the j direction. So we have to decompose, decompose this vector a over here. So this would be our ax and this would be our ay. So ax is the magnitude of the vector which is 10 times the cosine of the angle theta 1 and the y component of vector a is equal to the magnitude of vector a times the sine of the same angle, which is 30 degrees. So our vector a is equal to the magnitude of vector a times the cosine of the angle in the i direction plus the magnitude of vector a times the sine of the angle in the j direction. So this is our vector a. So you can replace if you want the letters by the numbers and then you can find the vector. So this is, we are going to replace uh, by the numbers uh, only in the, the final answer. So this is our vector a. Our vector b, we are going to do the same process, but you have to notice, let's write this this way over here. You have to notice that the angle vector b makes with the x-axis is this angle over here, which is the sum of theta 2 plus theta 1. So vector b is going to be the magnitude of vector b times the cosine of theta 1 plus theta 2 in the i direction plus the magnitude of vector b times the sine of theta 1 plus theta 2 in the j direction. So this is our vector a and this is our vector b. So what we have to do here is to sum both vectors. So vector r is, is equal to the magnitude of vector a times the cosine of theta 1 plus the magnitude of vector b times the cosine of theta 1 plus theta 2 and this is in the i direction plus the magnitude of vector a times the sine of theta 1 plus the magnitude of vector b times the sine of theta 1 plus theta 2 and this is going to be in the j direction so you just have to replace the letters by the numbers and then you find that vector r is equal to 1.59 in the i direction plus 12.1 in the j direction and it is in meters right in meters so this is our vector r so the x component of our vector is 1.59 meters and the y component is equal to 12.1 meters. So this is the answer of letter A and the answer of letter B. So letter C, the magnitude of vector R, the magnitude of the vector is the square root of each component squared. So 1.59 is squared plus 12.1 is squared, which gives us roughly 12.2 meters. So this is the answer of letter C. For letter D, we want the angle. So the angle is equal to the tangent to the minus 1 of the y component of the vector over the x component of the vector. And this is tangent to the minus 1 of 12.1 over 1.59. 
and this gives us the angle which is 82.5 degrees. So this is the answer of letter D.